Performance USA, the greatest entertainers in America, as requested by you, the service men and women of the United States Armed Forces throughout the world. Command Performance, presented this week and every week, till it's over, over there. Okay there, gang, we're cooking with gas tonight, and another big mob of your favorite stars are hanging around the kitchen, ready to put your international bake in the oven. Or, in legal terminology, you, the party of the first part, get off that dime and listen while we, the party of the second part or something, answer your commands to Command Performance Armed Forces Radio, Los Angeles, USA. As you all know, everybody who MCs command has to sing. That's orders from the snafu department. So, here with our own version of Alexander's Ragtime Band and everybody's version of glamour, charm, polka and stuff, that swell gal just back from China, Burma, India, that CBI fool, <laughs> Paulette Goddard! I have to? It's command performance. Well, I'll take it again then, Major. Here goes nothing. Come on in here. Come on in here. From your good old friend, command. Command in here. You're going to hear the kind of stuff you all demand. And we want you all to know this is for your APO. See, be them a reason for every FTO. Oh, cut, cut, cut. I can't take it, can you? <laughs> Golly, I haven't been over anything so rough since I t- took it deep over the Lido Road. But hi, fellas. This is Paulette Goddard, and many thanks for the bid to be at your big party tonight, Command Performance. I brought my nickel for a few long-distance calls, but on account of old man censor, I've got to lay off the CBI. No names and places, but the faces that I'm carrying around in my heart. Nobody can ever censor my memories of that trip. Well, gang, Anita Ellis is on active duty again tonight and warbling for the seven dream boys at 254. For the seven 29 engineers, including Judge Jones, Professor Hirsch, Sweet Boy Nolan, Four Ton Beavers, Romeo Bones, and Horizontal Shaw. <laughs> also, Johnny Fox, APO6, and the 986 Intellectuals, alias Carbide, Larry, Strawberry, Plow Handle, and Knothead. <laughs> Boy, what a bodyguard. Fellows, the song is I'll Remember April and the girl, Anita Ellis. This lovely day will lengthen in to evening We'll say goodbye to all we've ever had Alone where we have walked together I'll remember April and be glad I'll be content you love me once in April, your lips were warm, and love and spring were new, but I am not afraid of autumn and the sorrow, for I remember April and Glowing ashes For flames and love Live such a little while I won't forget But I won't be lonely I remember April And I'll smile But I won't be lonely I remember April And I'll
Anita Ellis. And now, fellows, for Joe Centra and that reconnaissance troop at AT-045. For, for Corporal Deering, who so kindly says, command performance is the talk of the entire ETO. Laying it on a little, aren't you, Deering? For those Pacific Marines entitled uh, Dog Me- Doc Megason, No Duty Murchison, Frog Ricketts, and Stoop Stobow. And the AAA gang at 726, known as Fireball Rodna, Duke Kindle, Stu Staley, Buck Rogers... Scuttlebutt Pop Silva, and Long Drawers Fortner. <laughs> a little ditty that's as, as much a part of America as Highway 66, as ham and eggs, as hot dogs and peanuts at Wrigley Field. The tune, Up a Lazy River, and a command performance for our one and only Louis Satchmo Armstrong. Come on, Louis! And, uh, look at that, Mac Ray. Let's get the boys in the groove there. Let's roll, baby. Hold it. Nightly, nightly. Take them up that lazy river. That's where I rocked many years. That's, uh, stop right over. That's what I'm going to do. That's the eight ball in the stuff, y'all. Yeah. Yeah. Now we're going to start all over, boys. You don't know what <laughs> With the new day sun Blinging in the shade Of a kind old tree Go away your troubles Dream a dream of me Dream a dream of me Up the lazy river Where the robin sung Two bright lights As we stole along Two skies up above The one I love of the lazy river, how happy we will be, Mama. Oh, bop, bado, bop, bop, bado, the river's bad, 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 Oh, I'm listening to you. Oh, that man. Baba do 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 zen 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 Up the lazy river. Oh, you river. Mm, you river. Oh, you down river. Look out, brother G. Be down on the piano now, that's good guy.
I'm sorry. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold everything. Oh. <laughs> Why, it's Jimmy the Rabbit. <laughs> Why, Jimmy, what's the trouble? Who is this mimic? This, uh, this imposter? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Why, he's no imposter. This is the great Louis Satchmo Armstrong. Oh, hello, Satchmo. <laughs> I'm delighted to meet you, Mr. Durant. I've been one of your fans for many, many years. This man speaks with a very low falsetto. <laughs> Where did you ever get such rough tonsils? Why don't you file them down? File them down? Why, they're so slow now, I can't touch them with a wash rag. <laughs> Say, Louis, are you familiar with Umbriaco? Don't you choke me like that anymore, man? <laughs> Umbriaco? Who's he, man? He's my new composition, a great new tune. Yeah? Well, let's come out out in the lobby now. We'll run it down. How do you like that? Everybody wants to run down Umbria. <laughs> well, fellows, having read the script, I've got a hunch we'll be hearing more from the great Snozzola and Umbriago. But for the nonce, yardbird nonce, no doubt, we fill the command performance order from Ralph Batelli and three New York CDs uh, across, somewhere across the Big Wet. The Batelli communique says, most people think that a big city doesn't have a voice. But to us, the voice of our town, New York, is Times Square at 10 o'clock in the evening. So can we hear it speak to us, please? Okay, Batelli. Our sound man just flew in on Superman with a soundtrack of Times Square. Listen to it. And Batelli, remember how it sounds in Times Square on New Year's Eve? <laughs> Leaving New York City, we turn to a songwriter deluxe. Jonathan Q. Mercer, better known as Black Magic Mercer, Blues in the Night Mercer, and Strip Polka Mercer. Johnny's written almost everything except Umbriago. <laughs> and he's the envy of all who would eat their cake and have it, for this boy not only writes them, he sings them too. Although actually the reason he sings his own tunes is the manpower shortage. You've heard about that, haven't you? But anyway, for the many thousands of you who swoon when Mercer knocks you a tune... Here's Johnny singing his hit tune, the G.I. Jive. This is a G.I. Jive, man alive. It starts with the bugler blowing reveille over your bed when you arrive. Jack, that's the G.I. Jive. Rudely toot, jump in your suit, make a salute. Voot! After you wash and dress, more or less, you go get your breakfast in a beautiful little cafe they call the Mess. Jack, when you convalesce, out of your seat, into the street, make with the feet. Reap! If you're a PVT, your duty is to salute the L I E U T. But if you brush the L I E U T, the M V makes you KP on the QT. This is the GI Jive Man Alive. They give you a private tank that features a little device called a fluid drive. Jack, after you revive. Chunk all your junk, 
back in the trunk, fall on your bunk. Crunk. Johnny Mercer. Fellows, another big name in the command performance music department is Georgia Gibbs. Georgia will not sing Umbriago. She's had too many requests for I'll Be Seeing You, and Georgia's warbling it tonight for Andy Hill and the 957 Engineers. Private Ed Lemish at 37 for Motor Torpedo Boat Squadron 26. Private Billy Westmoreland, 997. The Flat Dodgers at 650. The test tube commandos at 926. <laughs> the nurses in barracks one at 923. The staff of the cannoneer dive at 958. Our merchant marine everywhere. And for boogie, snuffy, and pretty boy at 980. Fellows, another command performance for Georgia Gibbs.
Georgia gives and many thanks. I can't understand it. I can't understand it. Well, understand what, James? The songs they're getting away with these days. Get a load of the titles. Mazzy, Dotes, Point Sienna, Bessemore, Mucho. They even gave up English. Well, what about you? You gave up English, too. No, I didn't, but I'll admit I'm fighting a losing battle. <laughs> but let's get back to Umbriaco. What a tune. What a melody. Tell me, Jimmy, does it move you deeply? Does it stir your soul? Does it mix your emotions? What does this dame want, a song or a neck beater? <laughs> I'll tell you what, Jimmy. I'll introduce you to that fine songwriter, Johnny Mercer. Maybe he can give you some help. Johnny. Yes, Paulette. Nobody ever says no to God. <laughs> Everybody wants to get into the act. <laughs> Johnny, this is Jimmy Durandy. He has a song. Well, naturally, who hasn't? And just who are you to criticize? What did you ever write? Old Black Magic, Tangerine, Blues in the Night, Lazy Bones, a rank professional. <laughs> My song is a masterpiece. It's not just another tune. It's a... Uh, uh... Sonata? Don't be silly. Sonata's too skinny to sing that kind of a tune. Oh, <laughs> uh, wait a minute, Jimmy. I think it'd be a wonderful plug for Umbriago if you could get Sinatra to sing it. Johnny's absolutely right. Jimmy, what a moment it would be. Just imagine the voice singing a song by the nose. <laughs> Just getting back to Umbriago, James. I suppose you... Suppose who, James? Excuse me. I suppose you dashed your Just song... Just a minute. My next line will be no good. Go back. <laughs> well, uh, getting back to Umbriago, James, I suppose you dashed your song off in a fortnight. No, I live in a regular apartment. Pile <laughs> a bedroom and follow the arrow. <laughs> And you know, Moisa, what trials and tribulations I had. I busted ten pianos and I wore out a case of rubber gloves before I was done. Rubber gloves? Why do you wear rubber gloves when you compose? That's so I can write in a race at the same time. <laughs> That's the condition that prevails. Well, come on. Come on, tell Johnny something about your background, Jimmy. Me what? Can you do that on the air? Your musical background. Oh, that's different. Please be more prolific uh, in the future. No, you don't mean prolific. You mean specific. Please, you run your own life and let me wreck mine. <laughs> now, now, where was I? You uh, were discussing your background. How true. My first attempt was a little thing called concerto in blue. Then I took a crack at Rhapsody in red. What happened to them? Paul Whiteman comes along, puts them together, and out comes Deep Purple. <laughs> I don't know how you feel, Johnny, but you know, I think he'd be a welcome addition to Tin Pan Alley. Well, maybe you're right. I think his pan would go well in an alley. People are always insulting me. But that will be in the hands of my lawyer in the morning. <laughs> For instance, on Halloween, I'm going to a party. I walk into a store and I says, give me a mask. And the guy says, you'll never top the one you got on. <laughs> how mortifying. Well, let's get back to this song of yours. What's the name of it? Umbriago. Umbriago? How do you spell it? Start out with a capital U, and when you get to Briago, you stop. <laughs> Have you talked to any songwriters about it? I talked to Cole Porter, who happens to be a contemporary of mine. Cole Porter is a contemporary of yours? Yes, he holds me in the greatest of contempt. <laughs> well... I guess the only thing to do is hear it once over lightly. Okay, but first you gotta move them trombones back. Why? I wish put my hat on. And I don't want no one to blow it off. I know a fellow. A fellow who will make your life so mellow. There's one like him in every town. He's half a man and half a clown. Umbriaco. Could be mayor of New York or of Chicago. Hoo-hoo! Umbriaco. Hoo-hoo! Razors came from Portland, Maine to Santiago. When you worry, 
had a stand for Umbria, go in a hurry. He got lots of time, that's all he spends his time, he never spends a dime. So, when you below, better send for my friend Umbria, go. Umbria, go. Anytime you try to find him, he is Umbria, Now, Umbriago, what put starts in all their marching? Umbriago, Umbriago, when they're whirling over Berlin with their cargo. Through the darkest night, it helps them see the light. It tells them they're all right. Through the hail and snow, when in doubt, hear them shout, Umbriago. And now, gentlemen of the AEF, I will give you the closing commercial. Umbriago, you're so raw tonight. Remember, it's important to keep fresh and dainty. Be desirable. Use K-ration, sensation of a nation. Get it today. And seriously, fellows, this is Paulette Goddard sending love and kisses to the CBI and to all of you saying that each week and every week you'll get old command performance till it's over, over there. This is the Armed Forces Radio Service. Thank you.